Hey everyone, this is Velvet Wells, creator of Gin Joint, as part of the Primetime Festival through the Toronto Fringe. We're in Gathertown. This is the only place this show exists. It's premiering here on this site. It is a, a web-based interface, a web-based universe, best done through Chrome but uh, people have what they have. I wanted to give you a, a walkthrough guide in how to join the show. When you log in and create your character for the first time, you will land here. The uh, On screen, it is the picture of a brick road with three broken logs, three logs blocking the path down there's also a river running through. Within Gather Town, there are ways to limit the directions that you can go. Uh, and they add a little bit of graphics to continue the, the reality. But if I try to go down or south, my character can't. In terms of moving, you use your desktop your laptop directional keys, your keyboard keys up, down, left, right. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to move up because my show is up. We're going to walk up the path, the brown brick path, lined by lamps. There are uh, trees and pumpkins and uh, a duck. <laughs> mallard duck with chicks behind uh, as we go up the path. There are also some wayfinding text along the way. Use arrow keys to move. I just discussed that. You can engage others when you're in Gather Town. You can walk up to somebody. As soon as you're close to somebody, if you both have your cameras on, your microphones on, you can have a conversation with them. And if you want it to be a little more private, you can move away from other people. You'll find in Gather Town that the closer you are together, the louder it is, and the further away, uh, eventually, even if you have your cameras on, your uh, cam their cameras will disappear. If you are engaging with something in Gather Town, it will have a little bit of a, a yellow border to it and then if you press the X then you can engage with that object. There are a few objects like the fountain in the middle of the is it a square? Is it a diamond? Uh, that will have sound effects but many objects will not. From this diamond, you can go in the different directions to the other shows here on Gather Town. I'm taking you to Gin Joint. So we continue up, up, and again, there are some wayfaring signs. Gin Joint this way with an image of myself on it. You know that you're almost in the area for Gin Joint when you come to a river uh, dividing the screen rainbows over the br brown brick road and a whole bunch of treasure and a clock that reads 11 11. We're going to continue up. Now when you continue up there may be a little bit of a hiccup that uh, because of the way Gather Town works it divides regions and so technically we're in a different region even though it doesn't look like that and that's just behind the scenes code. You know that you are close to the gin joint when you get to a bridge over a lake and river. There is a billboard on the left that says you wish because it's 1111 somewhere and again, my image is there. And on the right, there is a, there's a fortune teller. Hey, it's me again. You see that when you get close to the fortune teller, a pop-up context menu arrives uh, appears to say, press X to interact. And X is the X on your keyboard. When you press X, the interface will change 
to whatever that loadable object happens to be. In this case, it's a random fortune telling. And just to use this as an example, if you click the spin button in the middle of the interactive screen, you hear the spinning sound effect in the background. And your fortune appears. In this case, I got be good, fr be a good friend to yourself, order dessert, gin joint, with a nice regal image of myself. When you're finished with uh, an interactive element, to return to the world, click the X in the top right of the browser. You can also, uh, yeah, so click X in the top right. I was checking for myself whether you could go home or not. Uh, and you certainly uh, can use that interface as well to, uh, to reset your, your experience. We're going to cross the bridge and go now into the official, official. This was just like preset, getting you ready for what might uh, happen once you enter the space. We're continuing up. Oh, another billboard. When you hit the clover, the green clover, it's huge. It's a four leaf clover. It is surrounded at the top by a whole bunch of wonderful magical items. There's some lavender on the, uh, on the clover. One of the features within Gather Town is the ability to broadcast. I said earlier that when you're close to somebody, you can have that conversation. When you're in broadcast mode, everybody in this region can hear you and see you. It allows for public speaking and other events. In this show, there are audience engaging moments. In other words, there's, there are portions of the show where I am talking directly to you, to somebody, maybe a small group of people, maybe to uh, individuals. This is an opportunity for them to talk back. So if somebody is not right beside the clover, the bottom of the clover will be the audience area. If they're not right beside the clover, they can still hear what is going on. When you're in this world, there will be other interactive stations. The wishing well is one. The uh, birthday cake is another. The coin is one more. And the final one related to the show is the dandelion. Crossing, going across the stage, you won't do this during the show, but taking you to the exit of this realm, there are two more interactive um, elements that you can engage in. One is to take you to the gift shop, to my merch and the second is to a guest book so that you can uh, leave a memory, leave your review for the show, maybe five stars. Finally, there is a rainbow colored swirl on the right side of the interface that will take you back to the fringe public area. In this case, the, uh, the picnic area with uh, a food truck there. There are some interactive elements in this area as well. And you can return to here to go to one of the other shelves. This has been Velvet Wells. This has been your accessibility walkthrough for Gin Joint. I look forward to seeing you October 30th through November 28, 2021.